There we go. Okay, I'm here. We won't even we won't even say where where I'm at. And I got Joe here. Yep. And Joe Joe is in uh, depressed mood. A very depressed mood. How old are you, Joe? Fifty five. Fifty five? Yes. What's the problem? I got severe depression, anxiety, nervousness, frightened of my own shadow. And this is going on now for seven or eight months. And they don't seem to be doing anything in Fredericton for me. They just give me pills and I see the counselor once a week. The so counselor they just one came hour. here, right? Yes. What, so what, what, what does the counselor do? It just talks, that's it. But they don't help. But what do you ask you? Just ask me, I mean, I try How are you feeling? You eating well? Do you sleep good? Do you watch TV? Are you in the internet? Did yeah. you listen to the birds yes. this morning? Yes, exactly. And the beautiful birds singing good? Something like that? Yes. Okay. Yes, and it don't help one bit. So that's not what you want? So I you need can help. stay inside, you're not going outside. I need help. I see you right now, you're shaky. Yeah, I'm shaky. And the medications I'm on is not working. You're an alcoholic? No, I don't drink. No. I give it up. What about drugs? Well, yes. I had some some drugs. I started there because I started to get real suicidal. So last week I went on and got some drugs. I said it either make me better or make me worse. A lot of cocaine or what kind of drug no, are you just about? just weed. Oh, weed? What do you mean marijuana? What they want to make legalized across Canada? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is not helping. Well, it's not helping. I don't the medications. I'm sleepy all the time. Yeah, you don't look it. No, no. Suicide. I can't keep my eyes open. My suicidal. Yes. Yes. So you're you're begging for help. I'm begging for help, begging, and this is going on too long now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with myself. What did the counselor say that just came out? Oh, I wasn't talking to him. He's gone out again. He, I told him that you guys were coming here to talk to me. That's the guy we seen on the cell phone right beside us. Yeah. Over and over, say hello. How are you doing? Yeah. So, what do you want? I want help. You want help? What kind of help we're talking about? I need to be put back to myself. Get on my get on the right meds and get out around and go around with people, hang out and that. But I can't do a thing. And I'm not eating. I only eat a bit of junk food in the night time, potato chips and. That's about it. I can't eat. I'm sleepy all the time. Now, Joe, you went to the arm up to hospital, right? What did they give you to try to Try help not you? to say where he is, but anyway. You went to the hospital. Well... What did they give you to try to help you? Oh, or a mocto, well, they don't have nothing to do with, like, psychiatrists no. and all that, right? Okay, you ended up with giving you no, nasal spray No, I went over with what? nasal spray and uh, eye drops. That was, that's just for, I had a sinus infection. Yeah, I had a I sinus infection. Yeah. And, uh, and she's figuring that might keep my eyes open more or something, I don't know. But the bottom line here, you're not having nobody on in for for mental issues. You got mental issues, and you want help, and there's no there's no help. There's no help. They what happens help if you? you go at the doctor Doctor Everett Hospital? You walk in, and there's I need help. What do they do? She took me out one day. This woman here. Mm -hmm. We went in there. We were in there. I don't know how long. Five, six, seven hours and sent us home again. And I went out on the ambulance, I met the pain. I think it's four ambulance bills or three ambulance bills, something like that. And I went out, sent me home again. Told me I got to do it on my own and come around. I can't do it. I'm 
living alone here. I can't do nothing. I'm afraid I burn the place down. I, I, so if you went there and uh, got start naked and start screaming in the middle of the street, then they'll help you. They'll put you in a goddamn jail cell. Yeah. Something strange. Something wrong about our system, huh? Something. Uh, something. Uh, yes. So if somebody calls you and say, "Listen, we want to help. You want to go to St. John. That's where you want to go, right?" Yes. Custody says it's no good put me in out here because it's a waste of time. But you could bring a horse of water. Yeah. You know the rest. Right. So are you going to continue if the, somebody approach you to help you? Are you going to take take the help? Yes. Yes. You're crying for help. Yeah. All it does in the freaking bed, thinking, 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 suicidal thoughts are going through my head. And, oh. We'll contact the local MLA and we'll see. Yeah. What, uh, I got the information and, uh, do you think a lot of people like, like you around? What do you mean? Mental wise, suicidal, don't say don't they don't they're they're crying for help but they don't get it? Yeah. Yeah. Now my sisters won't even talk to me no more because because every time I talk to them they says I makes them depressed, like so So you got no help? I got no help at all. And you're crying for help? Yes. We will see what we could do. Okay. Hang in there.